Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul of makeup from Target, TJ Maxx, and Ulta. I have a couple more hauls coming because after doing those low buys, no buys, I I am now like reinvigorating my love and just getting myself kind of back into beauty and beauty items. I was trying not to go too crazy, but some of these things got a little bit hyped up so then I kind of went all in. I got some stuff on the Sephora sale and then at these other stores but then I think I'm good for now. I'm gonna now try to keep buying back to a minimum. This was just kind of like my you know like the big getting back into it and you're just like ah if you feel so deprived. I'm getting back into it but I am gonna now try to keep it really really chill and only buy what I absolutely need and what I run out of and then I'm also subscribing to one beauty box the petite boar which i have a haul unboxing of that here soon so let's get into my beauty haul this isn't going to be a beauty channel but this is how i'm transitioning back into staying consistent with this channel is just telling you guys what i'm up to what i'm into and then we'll get more into the deeper stuff because we're definitely going there so let's get right into it all right so these are all the items that i picked up so these two were from Ulta because they had a sale. So I think I got this for maybe like $8 or something like that. And then I got this at Walmart. And then the rest I believe I got from Target. So let me just open these up and show you guys. This is in the shade Medium. And I do have an e.l.f. one, but I really wanted to try something different. And I am trying to be more clean and have cleaner ingredients i know these aren't the cleanest maybe honest is a little bit cleaner but i'm still i'm still learning a little bit more i've always just stayed away from all of these things because they weren't very clean but now i'm just going to compromise and just try to keep it clean for the most part and sustainable but if it's not perfect i'm not going to be too hard on myself so anyways this is the dream big it looks like a very ashy color so I think it's going to do what really well. See, it's very ashy and also not too wet. It doesn't look shiny or anything. So I'm looking forward to that. I'll definitely have this in an upcoming get ready with me. So stay tuned for that. And this on the go blush, I got it in the color Ruby, which is a really, really lovely color. It's not too cool toned, which is what I liked. It's a not super cool toned pink, I think. Maybe I'm not that good at telling, but but in my opinion, it's a little bit neutral, like a neutral pink. It's like a reddish pink, right? It literally gives your cheeks like a rosy, sun-kissed, just red versus too pink or too peach that it looks fake. So yeah, as you see, it's just like a nice little sun-kissed kind of vibe it almost doesn't look like i have blush it looks like it's just my skin and i have a rash so if it looks like a, it looks like you just have a rash then it's a good color right for blush <laughs> just kidding kind of see it's pretty it's so pretty i love it i am gonna try to keep this thing on it though because i don't want it to dry out okay and then i got this glow butter glow from Physicians Formula. Just trying to make this aesthetically pleasing. It is not at all. And look at this sheen. It's not really shimmery. It's just a sheen. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let me try to get some more. There's almost like some minty minty silvery color with some bronzy color with some yellow but i don't know together it kind of ends up being a champagne almost going towards rose gold because it has like a little bit of hints of pink and it's just a beautiful shimmery thing it's gorgeous because it's not glittery no glitter whatsoever it's probably like the finest like the finest little shimmers i've ever seen it's just a sheen literally look at the finger where i applied it it's it's just sheeny. Do you ever do something and you're like, this is stupid. Why am I doing it? This is dumb. Nobody's going to like this. Nobody's going to watch this. So dumb. 
Why am I doing this to myself? But I think that's what happens whenever you start anything. And that's how I feel about doing this. I feel like, why am I making beauty videos? Beauty is so over on YouTube. And I'm just so old. Like, I need to move on <laughs> with my life. But here I am. I'm just sharing what, what I've been into lately. Which is trying new clean cleaner makeup. This is a Butter Glow Concealer. And I'm not going to open this because I have another opened Physician's Formula Concealer. It's from a different, it's a different line, but I love it. I actually like their concealers and their foundations. I love their last, the Healthy Foundation. I, I used to love that one. So I wanted to try this one as well. It also has like a little, I mean, I could open it. I just meant like I don't want to use it yet. But it has like a little sponge at the end. So I thought, oh, it's so soft. It's not like one of those hard ones. It's a very, very soft. So it seems like it's actually gonna work well. And it seemed like it'd be great for traveling. And look, it's still a regular concealer, you know? I could just... But it just comes with that little extra thing. It's not gonna be like in the way or anything. So this seems really, really nice. It actually seems very creamy with medium coverage. It's just what I'm observing from this but it's really really nice super like liquidy creamy oh i really think i'm gonna enjoy this this is a really nice shade too i think it's gonna be perfect for my under eyes to brighten a little but probably it's it's probably just going to be like literally the shade of my under eyes because my face is pretty pale most of the time so that's lovely i'm so excited for this one as well I'm going to put this back in here because I have to put it where the new makeup is so I don't get confused. So that way I can wait till I finish one of my other concealers, which should be very, very soon. I'm already more than halfway. Alright, and next is Cream Cheek and Lip Color. Oh, so this is both, which I love. This is Coral Peach from Honest Beauty. And I got this at Target. So maybe they use uh, clean tape as well because this tape sucks. It, all it does is like tears wherever I grab it it doesn't unstick it just tears so their tape must be <laughs> some weird ass green stuff I don't know clean what do people call it now clean or green I don't know it's usually just not real I don't think companies are that honest I'm very very selective I try to be with companies I don't trust them very much there's very, very few that I think are probably a little more trustworthy. This is actually really cute, very minimal. I mean, a cute butterfly that's adorable. It's not doing too much, but it's still really sturdy. And I believe these might be refillable, which is also nice if you just buy, have to buy the little thing, you know? Oh, that's actually gorgeous. I love that it has a mirror. Wait, should not be showing you guys a mirror, huh? Just go like this. I love that it has a mirror. I love that because whenever I travel, I feel like since this is a cream and cheek color, I'm more likely to take it. Plus, I actually don't take, I don't have a lot of products that have mirrors. So this would be perfect to take somewhere. Oh. This color seems absolutely gorgeous. Let's check it out. Yep. Oh, that's beautiful. I feel like that's going to go so well with my skin tone because I have like yellow-ish undertones. Oh, this is going to be so nice on my lips and my cheeks, hopefully. This is so cute. So I'm so excited about this. I actually love that color. I want to say this was on sale too at Target for like, I think it might have been on clearance or something because it was a great deal. Wow, I think I like that. It's like a nice peachy one. So see, I didn't want to get too many of the same things, but I'm glad that I got both of these. I do think they're different. I want to go with a peachy day or a more rosy toned day. I, do, I think they're different enough to justify having both of these. These are going to be my only cream blushes in my collection, you know? And next I got Summer Melon Tinted Lip Balm. I tried, oh it's that same black tape. So I did try a lip balm from Pacifica that looked adorable. It was like a sheer, almost like a clear lipstick. 
but it was supposed to just leave a rosy tint and that was super patchy and blotchy and just no big time no so i'm hoping this one's better this is cute it's very plasticky and cheapy looking but it's fine i don't really buy things for the packaging mostly it's a little sticky which is good i like that for a lip balm not too sticky but yeah it's definitely has a little bit of like stickiness to it which is good I, that means it's gonna probably be hydrating and actually stay on my lips i like that it just has a little sheer tint and i love that i actually like that the other one the problem that it had was that it would deposit the pigment into in my little lines on my lips and it would just all move to the edges it was really gross um, but this is really nice actually this is gonna work perfect for this is this is what I was looking for I was looking for a nice wash of color and hydration on my lips so this is perfect for that and lastly I guess this is makeup so I'll add it in here it's for makeup this is a Zoeva Zoeva pencil brush it was $2.99 I got this at Marshalls and I got this to do my underlines my under eyes my under eyeliner what underliner <laughs> like under the lash line under the lash line you know when you want to do a little wash of color right under the lash line I've been lately just adding like a little wash of color there like like a green or a teal or something like that maybe to try to make the brown pop in my eyes but this seems like it'd be great for that yeah so it seems like it's gonna go perfect the other ones I felt like kind of would would rub around with my eyelash and would end up splashing like glitter or powder inside my eyes because it was kind of getting in the hair so I feel like with this I'll be able to go right underneath my lash line and apply some color so this was only $2.99 which is not a bad deal this is a Zoeva 240 Luxe Petite pencil brush so I think that was a good buy as well Don't